Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. We have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello and welcome, and I can tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today, no rain in sight. I'm Derek Ray, and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And it's first time around for these two countries in the group stage here at the 2023 World Cup. It's New Zealand, and they take on the Philippines. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start, so let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. A look at the New Zealand starting 11. Well, the 4 4 2 system relies on good combinations all over the pitch. The front two, the central midfield pairing, the fullback and winger, and of course the centre backs. If you can get these combinations right, you'll have a good team. And here's a look at the starting 11 for the Philippines. Well, it looks to be the same system here, so it's just a case of which team presses the ball better and which team can get their wide players into more advanced areas. There are some good matchups here. And so the battle commences. Nice looking pass. Takes aim. And there it is. The opening goal. The ideal way to start. Well, here it is again, and all credit to the goal scorer, but you have to ask questions of the keeper. She's got to have that covered for me. No wonder she's frustrated with herself. So, underway again here. One nil the score. McDaniel. Anis, determined defending, chance, and the emphasis is on creativity. And a very good challenge. McDaniel. Quinley Quesada. Chandler McDaniel. Really effective shielding under pressure. Could be threatening. And will it be the leveller? And a goal to level this contest.
Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. So back underway following the equaliser. Hannah Wilkinson, Rhea Percival, Paige Satchel, and an astute piece of defending. Katie Bowen. Real chance, and a fantastic diving save. Well, opting for the short corner. It's opening up for them. Another play for a New Zealand throw. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. How about the cross? It has to be! There is the goal! And you could almost see that coming. They were sitting ever deeper. And now they've really paid the price. Well, as you can see, it's a decent strike, but I'm not sure about the keeper here. She can't be beaten inside that near post. A foul, but advantage played. It looks promising, and after the cross, a tremendous block. Delivering it. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. Giving them a different option by moving in field. A chance to whip it in. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? Is she going to score? Oh, that is a majestic goal! Volleyed home with precision and style. Superbly done. Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, but she still had a lot of work to do there. And what a lovely finish that was. She knew exactly where she wanted to place that. Brilliant goal. So underway again at 2 all. Betsy has it. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Superbly read and executed. Quinley Quesada. Sarina Bolden. And giving the ball away. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Opportunity to deliver the cross. 
Excellent defending. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Must take the lead here. Well, she should be a bit cross with herself. Couldn't test the keeper. So two minutes to be added on at the end. Free kick awarded then by the referee. Delivered into the box, and they deal with the threat this time. And there it is, the half-time whistle. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Now, who can she pick out? Bodies forward, and the break looks on. That's useful play. Will it happen this time? A smart stop here. Now the delivery, and a header goal it is, right on cue. Well, here it is again, and you have to say it's the perfect delivery into the danger area, and what a good header that is. Yes, the marking could be better, but she just found that little bit of space. In the end, she didn't even need to jump. And the ball is moving again, 3-2. Now, who can she play it to? But they took care of the situation defensively. And no way through. They won't complain about having won the corner and maybe an opportunity to increase their advantage. Substitution time it is here. Can someone get on the end of this?
Good work to win it back high up the pitch. Decent position. Now, that's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. Sarina Bolden, McDaniel, Quesada, might be able to get in behind the defence, delivered into the area here, well, really it had to be further away from the keeper. Possession given away unfortunately. It's a weighted pass. And the goal won't stand offside the decision. Well, that was always going to be brought back. It was a decent effort, though. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Not advantage with them. Referee says play on. And strong play here. Quesada. Out of play it goes, and it will be a throw-in. And a substitution in the offing. Quesada, Isabella Flanagan, Serrano, and a long way out here, well the shot seemed like a good option, but goalkeeper's ball, Serrano, Harrison, Quesada, they really look after the ball when they have it, well, the keeper had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Let's see about the delivery. And she's in the mood today. She's gone and made us a double. Well, here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Ten minutes to go. Longo. Options in the centre. And a super header. It looked as though it might be going in.
Over it comes. Applying vigorous pressure. Rebecca Stott. Plenty of support here. And still looking to get the shot off. Defensive roadblock in the way of that cross. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. And behind it's gone for a corner. Now sending it in. Struggling to get it away. And in it goes. She's given them an opportunity. She's given them hope. Well, here it is again. And the clearance just isn't good enough. Giving up possession in a dangerous area. Just poor defending all round. Daniel. The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. An incisive pass. On she goes in possession. Can she pick the right option? Disappointing pass. Longo on the attack in the closing phase and the final whistle and they're going to have to come to terms with this a defeat not at all what they were planning for Stuart well Derek not quite good enough today yes they only lost by one goal but I never felt they were in control of the game a frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time